this is a homeschooling channel and i know that you are all about the children and that uh warms my heart we're together can we drop a few references to start yes okay so every we should all be familiar with uh miseducation of the negro by carter g woodson yes um there's a book called boys will be boys uh written by a jewish lady hmm. i forgot her name um there's also another book we need to read called Dumbing Down of America. Mm. Um, there's another book, Lies My Teacher Told Me. I've heard of that um, one. And there's a lady who has a lengthy um, discourse on No Child Left Behind on YouTube named Charlotte Isardby. Charlotte Isardby was the director of uh, um, education uh, she was originally under Bush and Clinton, I mean, Bush and Reagan, and she went on all the way into the No Child Left Behind program. And she was explaining how they was deliberately miseducating the children. So, and how they was not following the protocol, how they supposed to follow it. It's, she, she goes in. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 And, um, education proper um is not done in the school no it's not no school is a yiddish word it mm -hmm. comes from a yiddish word shul s-h-o-o-l mm -hmm. trace the etymology back of the yiddish word you get a hebrew word s-h-e-o-l shell <clears throat> we know shell in modern english to translate from the hebrew to english as hell so they've been telling us the whole time they've been using our educational system to condition our children to be um, fodder for hell. Oh and so as, as we go into the understanding of homeschooling, it takes us back to step down education, um, which they eliminated um, in order to institute a Pavlovian response system. So for, if you don't know what a Pavlovian response system is, it's a, uh, it was discovered by Ivan Pavlov, who was a, uh, a scientist. And um, the conditions response was predicated up on the bell, food, and uh, conditioning the dog to respond to the bell. The other part of modern education comes from a guy by the name of B.F. Skinner. B.F. Skinner used uh, operant conditioning by uh, what's known as a Skinner box. We call him a classroom today. Okay. Um, then there is a M.K. Autra um, scholar by the name of Esther Brooks. Dr. Esther Brooks was utilizing um hypnotic techniques to recondition people and he became instrumental in the uh, secret um agenda of developing a miseducational platform okay mm -hmm. now a comparative analysis grab a modern children's book for a six-year-old compare it to what we used to teach our children what we used to read is bedtime stories called Aesop's Fables. Many of them were stolen by the brothers Grimm and written, rewritten as Grimm's Tales. The Grimm's brothers, one of them was a educator and he developed what's called Grimm's Law Grammar. These are the rules that they use to mistranslate on purpose information at key levels so that the developing mind cannot properly assimilate the information. Another reference is Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard, mm -hmm. because Dianetics explains the mechanism by which they pass this information through whole families by affecting the, the one that came before them. It's called Contagion of Aberration. An aberration means departing from that which you know to be normal. 
contagion the apparition is when you spit, spread your um, wrong and rogue ideas to others and they accept it as the reality. Wow. And the Dianetics program is designed to interrupt that pattern. Okay. Okay, so that's enough references for now. So we can get into your 